Hello, I'm Peter Goh. I'm graduating from the College of Business with a degree in Finance and Economics. During my time at Lacrosse, I had the honor of serving as the Investment Club President as well as a mentor in the inaugural year of the Multicultural Business Scholar Program. Before I begin today, I'd like to take a moment to thank the people who have helped shape me and develop me into the person that I am today. First, I'd like to thank my lovely wife, who I married in May, which is another story itself. Thank you for always being there and supporting me. I wouldn't have been able to do it without it. Thank you to my parents, who have poured into me ever since I was a child and helped develop me into the person that I am. Thank you for also giving me this tremendous opportunity to attend this great university. Thank you to all of you, my fellow classmates. Thank you for making my time in lacrosse memorable, whether through clubs, intramural sports, or even dreaded group projects together. Thank you to all the wonderful faculty we have here at UWL, especially those that made a lasting impact on me. My advisor, Dr. Miller, Dr. Stivers, Amanda Gasper, Professor Reber, who helped in the preparation for the speech, and Coach Wars. Thank you to my boss, mentor, and friend, Andrew Mortensen, who saw the potential in me and took me from a summer intern to a fully licensed financial planner working toward my CFP designation. Lastly, I'd like to thank my high school English teacher, Mrs. Hewitt. Mrs. Hewitt, I remember years ago as your assistant, you said that it was your dream to have a student shout you out on an Emmy or Grammy award-winning speech. So I hope this comes as a close second for you. So for over a year, I've planned and envisioned myself giving this speech to all of you. And as graduation inched closer, I realized the difficulty I faced in inspiring you in just a few minutes. So in my preparation, I decided to watch some videos and previous speeches to learn some things to do as well as some things to avoid. Think Dwight Schrute's acceptance speech in season two of The Office for you Office fans. But I also saw some great speeches from Mark Zuckerberg, Denzel Washington, and many others. Something that I noticed was that whether high school or college graduation speech, they often had very similar themes, whether around the golden rule, learning from your mistakes, or looking ahead to the future. The last theme struck me, given the year that we've had. I thought it'd be worthwhile to take a look back and see what we have been through. A year that's been full of violent protests, flash floods, windstorms, the tragic deaths of Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Kobe Bryant, and Chadwick Boseman. Not to mention a virus that millions across the globe have contracted, COVID-19. After making it through all of this, I think it's fair to say that our graduating class may be the best prepared graduating class in UWL's long history. C.S. Lewis, best known for his literary works, including the Chronicles of Narnia, puts it best when he says this. Hardships often prepare ordinary people for extraordinary destiny. Let me say that again. Hardships often prepare ordinary people for extraordinary destiny. If I could leave you with just one statement today, it would be this. Although this year, and even possibly the preceding years, may have been very difficult, this has toughened and tempered us for what is to come. We all come from a diverse set of backgrounds and leave here with a wide range of skills and abilities. Something that we all have in common is that we have all developed resilience, courage, and adaptability. What better traits to bring into the world as we strive to make a positive impact? Now, it's easy to see the negative aspects of 2020, the separation, the isolation, and the loss. But I want to remind all of you that we have earned our degrees and we now have graduated. Vaccines are on the way and with great hope, we are moving forward toward a post-pandemic world full of service, success, and accomplishment. We will all play a tremendous impact in this new world and will use the resilience and toughness that we developed to give us the inside strength to do so. So now, to the fall 2020 graduating class at the University of Wisconsin Lacrosse, I want to remind you all that we are all more courageous, resilient, and adaptable. And I want to challenge you to keep going, to keep growing, and to harness the energy toward overcoming the challenges we face as we strive to become extraordinary. Thank you.